There is no one way to perform a search, but different ways of searching the transcription, translation, and user annotations. In each case, the most reliable way to search is simply the find function of a browser. The transcription and translation links in Mirador take us directly to the page from which we came, but the entire transcription and translation are above and below on the same page. Thus, we can search the entire work quickly from that window. From there, we can find the chapter, verse, and page number, which differs for the 5th century and 19th century paginations, and browse to that page in Mirador. There is a similar but separate way to search the community-contributed overlay annotations. From the project homepage, click Index of Overlay Translations. This index is dynamically updated and is never more than a refresh away from the most recently added annotations. We could search for annotations tagged contraction with Control F and typing the search term. The annotations are grouped into the page numbers on which they are found so we can quickly see where they are and jump to images of that page. We could also search for what annotators have said about the mysterious figure in the Testament of Moses, Taxo. In this case, it has been suggested that Taxo could also be read Tao. We could check how the letters X and A typically appear in the manuscript by consulting the paleography chart, linked from the page about the Jubilee's palimpsest on the project homepage. Here we can see that an A is typically a thick descending line with a light loop on the lower left. An X has a similar descending stroke and a lighter rising stroke that crosses near the top. In the case of Taxo or Tao, there is no clear loop to confirm an A, nor is the upper right of an X visible. It would also be unusual for the strokes of an X to cross so low. It could be either an X or an A. Attempts to identify the figure using gematria should consider both possibilities.